U.S. Envoy, Iran should not be member of UN Commission on Women. Here's a summary of the article. The U.S. Ambassador to the United Nations has again emphasized her opposition to Iran's participation on the United Nations Commission on the Status of Women. A draft resolution proposed by the United States, regarding the removal of Iran from the Commission, will be up for a vote at the UN later this month. The draft reads in part, the policies of the Islamic Republic are strongly in conflict with human rights and the rights of women and girls in the mission of the Women's Authority Commission and are condemned. And the Islamic Republic of Iran should be removed from the Commission on the Status of Women immediately before the end of the current term. Tehran recently started the four-year term on the Commission. The Commission, which meets every year in March, aims to promote gender equality and empower women. Last month, Greenfield said that Iran's membership on the Commission is an ugly stain on the body's credibility. Thomas Greenfield's comments in November were made at an informal gathering of Security Council members, known as an ARIA meeting, focused on the mass protests that started in Iran on September 16, following the death in police custody of Massa Amani, 22. This post received a score of 4,300, with an upvote ratio of 98%. Here are the top comments in response to this article. Who put him on it in the first place? Iran's policies are in line with two thirds of the General Assembly. Outside of a few pockets of civilization, the world is a pretty shitty place for women. The General Assembly spends like 80% of its time and energy condemning Israel specifically. The other 20% of resources go to otherwise deflect away from the problems in the more influential member states, I assume. Israeli here. I can confirm. The attitude of the general public towards the UN here is not very respectful, to say the least. That's what you have us for though? Question mark, question mark, question mark. Iran should not be UN Commission on anything. Unless there is a commission on murdering girls. This is the UN, where Qatar, Malaysia, Eritrea are on the Human Rights Council. It's best to just ignore all the rights bodies in the UN. Qatar is on the Human Rights Council WTF is this timeline man. The real shocker should be Eritrea which scores lower on the Freedom Index than North Korea. I never thought that was possible like how hard is it to just be not North Korea what? If you don't know a lot about, the country is wild. Most of the adult population, both genders, is conscripted indefinitely into either the military, government and used to generate revenue for the state. Let's make this clear to all the folks out there. Calling the UN useless is a fundamental misunderstanding of its purpose. The UN Secretariat doesn't appoint anybody to these commissions. It's other member states. So don't go blaming the UN for the abhorrent behavior of its member countries. But Saudi Arabia is okay. No. Kick them both out. That sounds like how the UN works to me. Iran is working on women's rights Russia is on the Security Council China is on the Human Rights Council see? It all makes sense. China is the worst you could come up with for the HRC. Try Qatar and Eritrea. Give that spot to Qatar. Afghanistan, we agree, they are way too soft on women and it's the reason why they have so many problems in society. Well that and Israel, the West, as we all know everything is their fault. Ironic considering we still refuse to ratify ourselves as signatories to the Commission on the Status of Women? UN is a joke. There are all kinds of these, ironic, memberships throughout the UN's committees. Imagine if Afghanistan, Somalia and the DRC were on the UN Human Rights Committee? Oh yeah, they are. Even funnier is that Russia and China are candidates to join this year. Is it any wonder that 90% of the world thinks the UN is a waste of space? This video was automatically created by Reddit to speech. The article and comments in this video were selected from Reddit according to their upvotes, and any paraphrasing was performed by smmry.com, without any human intervention.